so you're pulling up to the gate to get in but you can't get in why is that well this gate is two sections you have to make sure that you are on the right side and let's pretend i'm the car you have to be pulled all the way up to this white line like this for it to work and then you have to click your button or else it won't open but guess what it won't open for me because i'm not a car it will only open for cars if you're all the way to the right side and all the way up to this white line When you're coming home, you're gonna need your fob to get in. You'll walk over here, make sure to make contact with it. See how it turned to color? Make contact with it. And don't just pull the door, because you're not gonna get in. You gotta turn the handle, but I waited too long. Swipe your key, pull the handle. Otherwise, you're not getting in. Always make sure that door closes all the way behind you. Let's get you inside of your apartment. So this is what your key looks like. And it's gonna go under this keyhole. You'll wait for it to flash green and you'll unlock it. Pull your key out and open it into your beautiful apartment. When you leave, make sure to lock that door. It does not lock by itself. Stick it back in, wait for the green light, turn it, and double check to make sure it's locked. Here are the instructions for setting a whole temperature on your thermostat. You can push either your up or down arrow button and you can see we're currently at 72 degrees. So you hit the hold button and then we are going to set this up a little bit higher. So hold it a little bit until it flashes and then you're going to, we're going to put this hold button down to 74 degrees. You just let it blink, hold and set. Yeah. And when it stops flashing, your hold will be in place. Next, let's take a look at our call box. This is going to be the way that you can buzz guests in without having come down to the door. So, you see me here. Hello. You can find the A icon and the Z icon here. So these buttons underneath are going to be how you move through the alphabet. You'll just go by last name and you'll find the last name and you'll see a three digit code next to their name. So we'll pretend that leasing is the last name. It would look just like this, leasing 001. We'll get to that later. All you'd have to do is hit this phone icon and then dial the three digit code and it'll call the resident. But we'll call the leasing office as an example. So we'll hit the phone icon. Enter directory code. The directory code is the three digit number. So for the leasing office, it's 001. And then you'll see the screen change here. Just a second. Waiting for answer, that means it's calling. And you can hear it ringing, that means it's going through. So somebody at the front desk is gonna get a call, but if you were calling a resident, you would get it. Oh. oh, Diane's saying hello to us. Everybody say hello to Diane. Look, it worked. Hello. Hello. So that's how they would let us in. You would pick up the phone, you would hit the number nine, and it would buzz open our front door for whoever's coming in. Let's visit the coffee bar and make ourselves something good to drink. We'll come over here, grab a coffee cup, and we'll place it on the sensor. And then we'll look at our options. We got all sorts of options. I think I just want a vanilla drink. So then you get all these options. I think a vanilla cappuccino sounds pretty good, so I'll click that. And then you'll see over here, you can make it more or less strong. Say I wanted it all the way strong, I would do that. You see all the bars are filled, and then I would hit the start button. But if I wanted just a plain cup of coffee, 
Let's see, I want dark roast. Then we have the option to add milk too. So you click that and then you could add more or less and make it more or less strong. And then hit the start button and then it'll start coming out and it will let you know when it's done and you can take your cup. Here we have our Amazon Hub Locker. After you've gone through the registration process, you'll start getting emails with a six digit code. That a six digit code is gonna be what opens the locker. All you have to do is tap the screen, type in your code here, or you can use this to type in your code. And then it'll say open door and you'll do that. And one of these many doors will open up and you can get your package. Now we're gonna head over into the pad and figure out how to watch a movie. So we've got our big screen TV here. And unlike what you have in your apartment, instead of a remote, we have this pad right here. All you do is walk over to it, tap the screen, and you'll see a remote pop up. Sometimes it comes to this screen. Sometimes it also defaults to this screen. So if you start from here, you're going to see all of our different options. We have Disney Plus, we can watch TV, a DVD, we can do Netflix, all that good stuff. So I'm going to pretend like I just want to watch some cable TV. So I'll click that and you'll see it'll turn into a remote. From here, you'll just use it like a regular old fashioned remote control. We've got our volume button over here. We've got our channel button over here. We've got our menu, guide, all that good stuff. And you scroll up and down with this and use the select button to choose what you want, just like you would with your remote at home. But if we decided, hey, I don't wanna watch cable anymore. I wanna watch something on Netflix. We'd hit our home button. Then we'd hit watch and we'd select Netflix and that same remote would pop up and this controls the TV so the TV would change over to Netflix. We also have other neat options like um, we can do music so if you like what's playing or you want to control what's playing in here you can go on to our Pandora play something good so you have some good music so you can visit our pool table or Scrabble with some mood music. If you have any other questions on how things work around the property, make sure to reach out to the property staff.